Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well. If you haven't yet seen my unboxing video of my brand new AutoArt Signature McLaren MP4-12C, please go and check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review on my latest AutoArt Signature model. So I think this one is number 23 in my auto art signature series collection let's go and have a look at the um the whole collection now and i'll show you guys where it stands so if you're new to the channel you probably wouldn't have seen the rest of my auto art signature series collection so as you guys can see i've got most of the bugatti veyrons um i've got the kearney's eggs the mclarens and this is where the mp4 will sit um, I'll move the LFA and put it um, on a few shelves down and have the MP4, the F1 LM and then the F1 all together. But yeah, got most of the Kearney's eggs, Pagani's, um, got a few Lamborghinis and, and the Maserati MC12. And then I've got the rest of the Veyron collections with a couple of BBRs, um, Enzos as well. So yeah, if, if you're you know, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while now, that you've probably seen this several times, but just thought I would show you guys um, in case you're new to the channel. Um, so yeah, this one is number 23. So I'm running out of room on in my cabinet. So um, I've only got another probably two more spaces left um, in the uh, in the cabinet. And then I would have done 25 Auto Art Signature Series models. But um, let's go in and um, take a look at the MP4, get it on the turntable and do a full in-depth review. So let's get the car out of the packaging. So auto art, typical auto art, they just have a, um, a few screws underneath the model, which I'll undo now. I'll take some of the packaging, the plastic off the model and I'll get it on the turntable and we can have a closer look at the brand new, well, brand new to my collection, mp4-12c by auto art signature series so i've taken the model out of all of the packaging um, and i've put it on the turntable so this is the um the auto art signature series mclaren mp4-12c um, finished in probably the best color for it metallic orange now mclaren um, i think it's their flagship color um mclaren orange um, now, I know AutoArt released this model in a few different colours. Um, I think they did a silver one and a black one, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe a red one as well. Um, but I was quite lucky enough that an orange one came up for sale on eBay. And um, it was the right colour um, for me. And um, it was in a very, very good condition. I think this is brand new. Um, never really been taken out of the packaging. And um, for a good price, I picked this one up for around 150, 160 pounds on eBay. So I thought it was a good deal. I think these are becoming increasingly rare now on, on the secondhand market. And getting one for in and around that price range, I thought was a good, um, a good deal and a good addition to the collection. Um, so yeah, let's do a full in-depth review on, um, on the brand new model to join the collection. So as always, it's a AutoWatch Signature Series model, which comes with um, the booklet of authenticity, which is numbered as well, which as you guys know, I like to display behind all of the, um, the AutoWatch models. It comes with a few instruction manuals because um, it's a fully opening die cast car. Um, so the doors open, the engine cover, the bonnet. So um, it's got some, um, some instructions there on how to do all of that. But um, as all auto art signatures have, it's got a booklet on the model and how it was all put together. Um, I don't think this has as many pieces as some of the other auto art models. Um, so yeah, it's got around 400 pieces. So 385 separate metal and plastic parts. And it just shows you some pictures about the model, how it was put together. Um, and, and all the parts that it um, that it took to um, to make, which is a nice touch by Auto Art. Uh, as I always say, shame they don't do the certificate and booklet anymore on their current models. But um, yeah, as you guys know, I like to focus on the signature series old school models. 
So um, first of all, I mean, what do you guys think? I think the paintwork on this model is is really good, really good application by Autoart as always. There is definitely a metallic fleck in the orange. Um, I'll try and show you guys that later on in the review under some bright lights. But the paintwork across the whole model is is fantastic. I mean, as I say, I think it's the best colour you can probably get um, the McLaren uh, MP4 in. Um, really suits the car very, very nicely. Um, and yeah, really, really nice to um, to have this one in the collection. So yeah, I think first of all, the first thing you notice is really good paintwork by Auto Art. 10 out of 10, um, I think for the color and um, just applied really nicely. So let's take a look at the front end of the model. Now again, the MP4, it's quite a minimalistic car. There's not, you know, there's not huge spoilers or splitters or louvers or wide um, kind of wheel arches. Um, it's a very minimalistic, aerodynamic, efficient, typical McLaren car. So, um, you know, there's not a, too much to, um, to kind of show you guys in terms of the exterior. But let's take a closer look here as well. Um, I'll move my light as well just so you can get a better look at the front end. So the lights are obviously done very nicely. I mean, that's probably the first thing that you guys and all that I recognize, you know, very, very good details on the lights. The front badge is done very nicely. It's a sticker, but, you know, it's a really, really good quality sticker um, and, you know, looks pretty realistic. All of the, the shut lines, so the whole front bonnet opens up and I'll show you guys that after I've done the exterior. But all the shut lines are nice and neat and tidy around all of the opening uh, compartments, not just around the front, which is really nice. And then obviously you've got a um, you've got a small splitter at the front, but then you've got all of these openings here as well, which have got a little bit of black mesh right at the back, um, which is um, which is nice details by Auto Up. You would expect that from their signature series, but. Um, you've got all of the openings here for aerodynamics and for cooling as well. But um, yeah, I mean, as I say, the front hasn't got too much to show you guys. But what is here is very realistic and done very nicely, um, which is typical, um, you know, auto art signature standard, which is um, which is really really good. You've got quite a you know realistic um, windscreen wiper as well. I think you know it's um, a really nice touch by Auto Art. Some manufacturers tend to to leave out little bits. I also own the Mini Champs version of the MP412C, and then I'll be doing a um, a side by side comparison between um, between both models, just to show you guys the differences between Auto Art and Mini Champs. Um, you know, I think um, Auto Art are steps ahead in terms of their quality and um, and details. Um, but yeah, let's move on around the side of the model. Now again, I mean, as I said, the paint is really, really nice on the model. But let's take a look at some of the side details here. So it's finished with the um, multi-spoke silver wheels with the silver calipers. So you've you got the McLaren logo as a centre cap. And then you've got a huge calipers, um, pretty much cover half the discs with the McLaren logo coming down the um, the side of the caliper. Then you've got really nice uh, wheel design, um, which is pretty much iconic 12C wheels with a huge disc that pretty much covers the whole um, the whole wheel inside. So I think, you know, the whole um, wheels, discs, calipers, tires are done really nicely. Um, and also, you know, if you turn the steering wheel, the front wheels turn as well, which is, all, which is pretty much on all Auto Art signature models. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, that whole detail there looks really nice. And, you know, typically if if the calipers or the wheels don't look right, it kind of throws the whole model off. But, um, you know, I don't think the car really sits that low in real life. Um, but the ride height looks OK to me. But um, it does look quite low. I don't know if you guys have picked that up, but even on the rear wheel, um, the rear wheel almost tucks into the arches. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, I think it looks good. I think the ride height's good, but it, it does sit quite, quite low. Maybe that's the real car. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, but then you've got the the side intakes here for um, for the uh, the coolant for the engine. So obviously these are finished in black 
black mesh um, on the doors and on the um, on the side here as well. Now I quite like these as the McLaren evolves. So once you start going through the 720s, you've got the air channels in the doors rather than having kind of you know um, channels on the outside of the car. They kind of put them inside the um, the doors, which I think is a really cool touch. But obviously the the 12c was McLaren's first attempt on a road going kind of everyday supercar following the F1 so um, it was kind of their first attempt on, on doing it but I still think it does look really really nice I'll show you guys all of the um, interior detail as well and the the doors obviously come up um, in typical 12c fashion so like a gold wing door but um, I think all of the shut lines are typically all very neat and tidy which is um, really kind of normal standards by auto art You've got the fuel filler cap on the passenger side, um, sorry, on the driver side, which also opens up, and um, I'll show you guys that um, in a moment. You've got the rear wheels as well, which I think are slightly bigger than the front. Um, same design, you can probably see a little bit more calib caliber detail here as well. So you've got the, um, the McLaren logo on the calipers, um, sitting differently on the front as well. Um, and then you've got uh, the same kind of nice multi-spoke wheel design with the McLaren logo in the middle. Really good detail again overall on the whole discs, calipers and um, and wheels on the rear as well. So typical auto art, really, really high quality and high standards. Coming around the rear end of the model. Now again, you've got um, pretty good detail here. So let's start off with the... Um, with the engine bay now this whole um kind of section here opens up and i'll show you guys the the engine details not too much to see because typically in the 12c the engine does sit quite far down you know for for better handling um and um, just better center of gravity so there's not too much to see in there but i'll show you guys as much as i possibly can but the whole rear engine cover you know done very nicely you've got the um the vents on the side which are covered with the um with the with the black mesh again nice touches you got a bit more of um coolant here as well in terms of some more openings down there but again really nice quality of paint uh, you can start to see that metallic fleck in the orange which is really nice you've got a active rear spoiler which opens up and um you can display it with the active air brake as well show show you guys that in a minute and then you've got kind of the um the whole rear design here so again you haven't got any massive rear diffusers um quite a plain simple um design at the rear so you've got the spoiler which which comes up you've got the twin exhaust finished in um, in silver and then you've got the um kind of the the brake lights or some reverse lights on the side as well then you've got all of the um, extra kind of coolant here just to take that engine heat out all finished in um, uh, the um, the black mesh you've got a little rear diffuser at the bottom but again if you it's nothing compared to um, some of the other models that auto art make um, it, as i say very minimalistic clean cut design on, on on the 12c which is typical mclaren you've got a nice mclaren badge in the middle as well which is always um, a really good touch, really good quality. And then coming around the passenger side as well, exactly the same, really, really high levels of um, of detail. And um, I think the whole exterior of the model actually is, um, is really good. Pretty faultless, I would say. Um, love to hear from you guys, you know, I think some of you guys have, you know, have got this model in your collection. So I think it's pretty, faultless on the outside um you know I, I i don't think auto art have really missed anything let me know in the comments if if they have but um let's start to open up some of the interior compartments now and then um, i'll show you guys some um some more detail so i've got um some of the compartments opened up now so i've got the front compartment opened up um, first of all, you know, as always, you've got the nice struts that the um, that, that the front bonnet has. So really realistic 
uh, hinges and struts there by auto art. Obviously, you've got the um, the front boot that's um, fully carpeted, um, which is on all auto art signature models. Um, I believe on the on the left you've got the windscreen washer reservoir. You can see that with the um, the white with the yellow cap um, reservoir, and then on the right you've got some other. Um, reservoir compartments here I believe maybe you could have headlight washers or um, or some other kind of liquids for for the car but again really nice um, details there by auto art um, leaving that exposed you've got the air filter in the middle as well again nice touch fully carpeted and then you've got a fire extinguisher um, right at the front of the um, of the of the um, of that front boot I can try and show you guys that now. So as you guys can see, you've got a um, fire extinguisher there as well. And you can see kind of the um, the struts there with the exposed screws. Really nice details there by Auto Art. Um, typical, typical kind of details there as well. So they always do a really good job with um, interior details um, on Auto Art signature models. So again, let's put the front compartment down. Really nicely done by Auto Art. And then again, once it's down, it's really nice and neat shut lines all around the edges. So let's open up the doors. Um, as you guys can see, the fuel filler cap um, comes up, and then you can see, um, you know, we're in the um, the the fuel as well. So again, you don't really see that on most uh, model cars, but it's a it's a nice touch by Auto Art. So you can put it down now. Again, it just slots back in, clicks into position there as well. So again, nice touch um, by um, by Auto Art. So with the doors, um, they're typical gold wing doors. So you've got to pick them up from underneath and then lift them up gently. They come up really nicely, actually. So they come up quite high. And then once they're up, it does kind of let you have a lot of... Um, interior detail there as well so it opens up a lot of detail so i can show you guys the de interior of the mp4 so you've got um carpeted um foot wells with the mp4 12c um badged in the carpet you've got the whole um kind of seal here carpeted as well you've got really nice details in terms of the center dash um the steering wheel is nicely done the seats um, and then you've got the door struts as well, which are fairly realistic. Um, and the whole door is magnetized. So you've got those two magnets on the shut and on the return, which is on most auto art models. So you've got that on the F1 and then you've got that on the F1 um, LM as well. It just secures the door, makes the door, once the door's shut, minimalizes the, the shut lines and you know, there's no big gaps between the opening compartments on the model. So again, nice touch having the magnets in place keeps everything um, very neat. Um, so let's put the door back down again. So yeah, the whole driver side is pretty realistic and I'll show you guys the passenger side um, as well. So again, having the magnets in place makes it a lot easier because once you get it lined up in close, it just clicks back in and then sits quite neatly back. And as I said, it does really minimalize those shut lines with the door and the rest of the car. So let's come around to the engine compartment. Again, as I said, you don't see too much engine detail. The engine sits way down in the, in the car. So, you know, you only really see that top bit here. So you've just got a carbon fiber finished engine bay with the um, with the McLaren logo just on the top of the engine. So again, it's exactly the same as the um, as the real car. You don't see too much detail. It's not like some of the other auto art models, uh, but you've got the um, the coolant on either side. You've got the oil reservoir, um, which you guys can see there right in the middle. Um, and then you've got all of the other liquids that the um, that the car has as well. So they've left that all exposed, which is nice. Um, and then you've got the whole engine uh, cover sitting on some 
some nice struts that pretty look really realistic to be honest very different to the mini champs version which i also own i'll do a review on that shortly as well but um let's close down the engine compartment and then you've got the um the lines as well um for for the heating which again is a pretty realistic touch by um by autoa so let's come round to the passenger side again you've got to lift the doors up from underneath the so once you get from underneath the doors just lift them up nice and slowly they do come up really nicely actually to be fair and then you've got some you've got a little bit more detail on passenger side as well very similar to the driver side um you've got the stamped carpets fully carpeted interior um with the um, nice details on the center dash as well so i think overall the interior of the model is is pretty good so let's close down the and you can just about see the magnets there as well so i can show you guys you've got one magnet on the on the seal and then you've got another magnet on the door as well which is um again nice touches by um by auto Art, and you only really see on the signature series models so let's close down the door really nice details there and it just clicks back in um, and that's that is the interior and the exterior on the mclaren mp4 12c i think it's a really really good model um very highly detailed you know if i was going to give this a out of 10 score i'd probably give it around eight eight and a half um i think they could have done a little bit better on the engine bay um i know it's difficult on, on the mp4 but just to make it uh, a little bit more realistic, just to show a, a little bit more details. But um, I think overall, the whole interior, exterior of the model is very good um, and um, typical Signature Series quality. So um, as I say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I will um, I'll see you guys very soon for some more videos to come. Take care. Bye.